Hey, my lovely dolls, and yes, we have another lovely makeover. And today it's a very special babe because this is like my client and my friend. She was visiting the other day, and you can go head over to the family vlog to see what we end up doing. And yeah, but here I am beating her face. I'm starting by shaping her brows because she has very thick brows. The Indian the cool pit me in her she have enough ear pan her yet bro so I'm shaping that up and then we're gonna get into group, putting those brows together and getting her ready for our little dates so as always I am lining the brows outlining the brows and shading them in a little bit and today I'm using the clean color pencil in dark and yeah, I'm just gonna use that and shape the brows and give them the, the cut the shape that I'd like them to have. And as I said, her brows are thick, so it's not a lot of work to do that. And yeah, I'm really this is like a nostalgic moment because she was one of my face models like back in the days when we were going to college. I'm all I was always doing her face when we were going out or just for practice. And yeah, we were just chopping it up so you're gonna be seeing her move, move a lot because we were talking and yeah, we are crazy because she's been MIA for a bit, so yeah. Alright, so here I'm gonna outline the brows as always using a lighter um, concealer under the eye and just reinforcing that shape that we just created so I had moisturized our face off off camera and yeah now we're priming the face with the Milani prime shield i just showed it it's a very great primer it's this is the mattifying one they have three different types and you can find the right one for you um so i'm going all over her face and under her eyes and here i'm gonna be using the Rammel setting spray this is actually her products most of the a good amount of the products are hers because i was actually showing her how to use her products and yeah um as well so i'm patting it in and then we're gonna get into the foundation all right so for foundation we're using the Fenty Beauty foundation I don't know the name shade because as I said this is her product and as you can see it appears a bit lighter on your skin but this foundation does oxidize a bit on her so it does transform and get deeper to her skin tone um, so yeah really love this foundation it's very full coverage it it does dry a bit faster than my um maybelline um color stay or whatever the foundation that i normally use on my clients um so this will be definitely be going in my bridal kit Alright, so now I'm finishing up cleaning up the brows and as you know, I use a skin tone color on top of the brows and a lighter tone concealer under the brows to give the brows a lift. So just in case you didn't know, that's why we use a lighter tone to lift the brows and enhance the brow shape. Do you see how relaxed this girl is? I tell you, my clients get real relaxed and sometimes sleep in this chair. If you haven't booked a session, go to, to Instagram or Facebook, Moya Lovely, and book your session with me. Alright, so now we're gonna prime the eyes with a lighter um, primer. And now I'm gonna be doing the eyes. I'm gonna be doing a 
very soft glitzy glam and in the glitzy glam package it's a soft smoky natural tone blended look and it goes with every occasion for the ones that are understated and don't want to go full glam with the the liners and the glitz and the glamour um well this is still glamorous but it's very soft and understated and still beautiful Y'all remember when I said that all of my friends are not here? Yes, this is example one, my friend that is not here, but I'm glad to have her visiting and still supporting the Moy Lovely Beach. She was a client in this moment, paid for a client, and that is what I love about friendship, that you can grow and still support your friends. Um, I really appreciate her for that because she was one of the person that will always support my business she'll buy me a few stuff here and there and even when she was coming she she carried a few stuff for the business because she's really a friend that supports and I really appreciate that about her I can remember the days I was babysitter hairdresser and all of those things for her and she's always the one that dragged me out of the house out of my shell because if y'all don't know I'm a real introvert and yeah I need friends like that to get me out of the hole sometimes so I do miss moments like that and but yeah she's she is here to support the moil of the brand and so should you come and relax in our seat and enjoy the moment All right, so as you guys can see with the glitzy glam, it's a very blended, smoked out effect with shimmers in the bronze, gold, shimmer, champagne um, color range. It's very simple, very neutral. It's very glamorous, very soft and great for every occasion. If you're understated or very simple or you want to come out of your comfort zone with the natural glams a little, this is the look for you very appropriate if you're not like the loud um, over the top doll yet yet this is a look for you it's a very beautiful very um, glamorous look all right so now I'm gonna take my eyeliner by NYX I need to talk about this but I'm gonna talk about this on my TikTok if you don't know I have a TikTok Moya Lovely go ahead and go follow give your girl the support this this is right up there with my Jordana um, cat eye liner. It's very precise. I really love this one um, for liquid cat eye. Like, look at that. It's very black, very pigmented. Go check it out. It's the NYX ink liner. Like, yeah. The girl was waving and looking cute and stuff, so I had to show her that. Um, but yeah, next is the waterline I took a brush because as you can see in this in this look I did the foundation first and I did this because I know what kind of look I was doing it's gonna be a soft look so we won't have a lot of fallout or colors falling on the foundation so to not have my imprint my fingerprints I use the brush while doing um, this step bringing the the eye the eyelid the, the lower lash line down a bit with my fingers and doing the waterline blending this i'm using the colors that are in the crease so the brown a little bit of the charcoal dark color to blend out and smoke out the lower lash line here as i always say to you guys you're always going over the looks you're always reapplying and blending cause a blended look always looks beautiful so i applied a little bit more of the crease color and re-blended that into the look and 
there's a lot of blending that you guys don't see in these videos but we always have to blend blend reapply blend and blend sing the song blend blend reapply blend blend all right so here we're using concealer and i must say again i must note again that these are all most her products any product that you see i'm using directly on the on the her face it's her products i don't i'm not one to cross to contaminate and use products that i use on clients directly on the face because that's not good for sanitation and if you see your makeup artist do that you need to st stop and head elsewhere because that is a no no in the any industry sanitation and and thing is a must because the skin is very delicate and there are lots of disease and infection that you can have by doing this all right so i'm using the same brush that i used to apply the foundation to blend in that concealer it's a very soft look as you can see um but with the placement of the concealer it's going up and out because she has a rounded face we're gonna bring the face up a little more to carry the, the, the eyes in the middle of the face I'm now setting the under eyes with the Maybelline setting powder I don't remember which shade um, but that's what we're using on their eyes and to set the concealer um, remember to always ensure that there are no creasing by tapping your the same sponge with your concealer under your eyes or misting it a little so that when you sit with the powder you don't set the creases in All right, so I'm giving away one of my secrets to you guys. This powder here by Milani, it's called Earth Glow. <coughs> I don't know if this is still in this package because they rebranded this powder, this old powder series, but it is what I use as bronzer on almost all skin tones of my clients because it's so deep and rich. You just have to use it lighter on your on lighter skin tone as you see I'm doing but this is gonna as I said create a shape that is more slimming to her rounder face to give that illusion of her nice slim elevated <coughs> um, face to bring her cheekbones up and yeah this is what you, you see I'm doing with the placement here on the forehead as well to bring it down and round um, so that's what low light and highlighting is but I'm using a bronzer to bring some color and some warmth to the face and the skin and you can see the look that it gives it gives her this sun kiss look um, because it's such a red deep bronzy shade <music> guys this mascara i'm applying this mascara and i'm putting my thumb so that we don't have any transfer on the lids but this mascara guys i'm gonna link it down below she brought this mascara and i'm in love with it this mascara gave her 10 times the lashes that she had it was bomb all right so next step is highlighting bringing the the cheeks up and glowy and giving a skin light look i'm using the master chrome by maybelline um, one of the the very good um, 
universal tones i really like this one on the skin as you can see as i apply the face is elevated and looks more skin like and more glowy and and smooth um so yeah that's what we're doing here I'm gonna say this one time and one time only blush is a must you see how that brightened her face and brought some more color to her skin yeah it's a must all right so we are almost through with the makeup and I'm using the Re Rimmel London um, setting spray again this is also hers and now I'm gonna take a gloss I don't remember the gloss that we're using as I said most of these products are hers I was just giving her a full beat with most of her products getting some brushes that she hasn't used they're brand new and showing her again how to use these products um, on her face but I really love this gloss it's like a soft pink and then I'm going to line the lips with the clean color um, liner that I use for our brows. As we know, this is a eyeliner brow pencil. It can be used for multiple things, but I'm using it to line the lips to bring some emphasis to the, to the gloss. And guys that is it this is the full beach and take in this look very soft very beautiful enhancing her beauty this is makeup with heart okay meaning this is makeup with passion enhancing a woman's natural beauty and making her feel confident look at her snapping away but yes this is my lovely and I'm signing out and I hope you enjoyed the video Remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below.